Hello everyone and good evening to all the UK viewers and good morning to the rest of the world or wherever it's afternoon or wherever what time of day it is. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable the Windows Vista startup animation, you know the glowing orb at the beginning of the Windows Vista startup. Yes, you can apply that in Windows 7 and I am um, I've only just found that out today. So let me just show you what I mean by that. I've already applied it, but I'll be showing you guys how to do it in advance. So here we go, we're booting up, you know, this is regular Windows 7. This is Windows 7 build 7601. This is like the final, you know, Windows 7 servers pack one, you know. So now we're just gonna wait for it to boot up. And here you go. Yeah, that's right, the Windows Vista startup animation on Windows 7 and let me show you how to do it first of all just delete all these files because they're not necessary okay so what we're gonna do is once you've downloaded the Vista startup or for Windows 7 and yes this only works for Windows 7 I don't think it works for Windows 8 and above it won't but it should work on Windows Server 2008 both R1 and R2 I think I mean, it hasn't been tested yet, but yeah, I'm pretty sure, I don't see why it wouldn't. So basically what you do, once you've got the downloaded file, you extract all the files, and um, just place them all on your desktop, just like that. And what you're gonna wanna do, depends if you're on a PC or not. If, if you're on a PC, just create a bootable Windows 7 medium or something, or just any OS or something that allows you to use command prompt outside of Windows. So, yeah, this is what I usually do. So, I'm going to use a VM to do this. So, basically, if you're using a PC right now, you would just plug in a bootable USB drive, which you can use Rufus for that. So, I think it's already connected. So, let's just have a look. Yep, that's already connected. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the PC and I'm going to start it back up again. But we're going to boot into the installation medium. So, there we go. Now that it's all loaded, simply just press shift and f10 on your keyboard and then you're going to want to type this cd slash d c well my drive letter is c so i'll be typing c so yeah i think most people use the drive letter c so if you're using the drive letter d or something you'll just type d right so after that you just hit enter and then you type cd users and then my user is just simply Vista, so I'm going to type CD Vista, just like that. And now you're going to want to type CD Desktop. And now this is where the interesting stuff happens. So now you type copy asterisk dot DLL to C. Yep, again, my drive letter is C. If yours is um, D or something, you would simply type D. Well, yeah, D, just like that. But I'm going to be using C, because C is my drive letter. So now you type C slash Windows slash System32. Yeah, just like that. That's all you got to do. Then after that, you hit Enter. And for this, you type All. Well, you could just type A, but I'm going to type all. And there you go, you've copied all the files. And now, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to type copy logonui.exe to C slash windows. Same as last time, C slash windows slash system32. Sorry about the stupid typos. And this time you just type yes. And now for the last part, what you gotta do for this is that you've got to type copy authui.dll.mui to c slash windows slash system32. However, you type slash again and type en dash us or whatever your language is. So yeah, so now once you've done that, you just type enter again and simply type 
Yes. And once you've done all that, that's it. All you got to do is simply reboot your system and just pray that this has worked. And I don't think it works for Windows 8 and above, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. So please don't ask me in the comments, does this work? Because no, I don't think it does. You can test it if you want, but... Yep, there you are, look. It works. It works in 7, without a doubt. Without a doubt, undoubtedly, so... Yeah, and once you've, you know, these files are no longer useful. Once you finish with those, you can simply just dispose of them just like that. It won't stop your system from working. Although, I would keep that zip... Don't delete that zip file like I did. I would keep that in handy just in case you want to use it for any future use. So, yeah. So, now we're just gonna... Sadly, it breaks this, unfortunately. But I'm gonna try and see if I can fix that or we'll let the person who made this... Well, they didn't really make it, they just ripped files out of Windows Vista to put in Windows 7, so, yeah. I'll see if, um, see if they can fix it or something, or, you know, I might try and attempt to fix it myself if that's alright, so. In order to shut down, just simply press the, where the shutdown would be and, um, click shut down. It's as easy as that, really. It just damages the appearance, but it doesn't damage the functionality that much, which is good. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and I hope it worked, you know, I hope you are, you know, able to install the Windows Vista Starp animation to Windows 7 and I hope this video worked out for you guys just as well as it worked out for me. So for, you know, thanks for watching and like and subscribe because you know I would appreciate that. That helps me make more videos for you guys to enjoy. Well, for those of you who do enjoy them, that is, yeah, you know, if I do say so myself, so... Wherever you are in the world, I wish you a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you know, whatever time of day. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.